What's up, everybody? We are coming to you today from Wendell, North Carolina. Wendell is what you would call an up-and-coming town to the east of Raleigh. And with prices on housing rising everywhere and remote work becoming more of the norm, people who have been priced out of the larger suburbs in Raleigh I'm starting to look at a quieter place, and we found Wendell. Pittsburgh is another example of a small town, but recently the prices in Pittsburgh have increased dramatically, making it less attractive to home buyers looking for an affordable product. Wendell has a population of 7,962 people in 2020, but those are the latest census numbers. That number has definitely risen over the last couple of years. With drive times of about 25 minutes to downtown Raleigh and 35 to 40 minutes to RDU, it's definitely not close to everything, but it's certainly a reasonable drive. We jokingly say it takes 15 to 20 minutes to get anywhere in Raleigh. While the median house price is officially $430,000, it's probably slightly misleading. There are a ton of properties that are, while not officially in the town of Wendell, there are, for all intents and purposes, in Wendell, and these also tend to be on the more affordable side of the spectrum. But what you'll see more of in proper Wendell is new construction at communities like where we're at, Wendell Falls, where the median house price is certainly over $430,000 in this neighborhood. But again, like we said, the Triangle is a very popular place to so many people who are looking in these smaller towns become a great option, and Wendell is no different. This can show in the year-over-year -year growth in house prices as Wendell sits around 30% year-over-year growth in home prices. So while its neighbor Nightdale might have some more shops or other things in it, it has a very different feel. With both Holly Springs and Nightdale, you have a major road or highway with a town kind of growing around it. Wendell doesn't have this. It gets smaller roads, more country feel. It feels more like Carrie and Apex did 20 years ago. And I'd be willing to bet that it's certainly gonna be like Carrie and Apex in 20 years. But that doesn't mean there's just cornfields around, right, either. Wendell's downtown is more open and traffic friendly than most of the ones around. Sporting several restaurants like Aubrey's and Petals Grill, Agave Mexican Bar and Grill, Everest Kitchen, Bravo's Pizzeria and 41 North Coffee Company it has a little bit of everything and definitely a place to visit and enjoy. And what would one of our videos be if we didn't recommend a brewery? Bearded Bee Brewing Company is a converted stable that is both dog and kid friendly and we know a lot of people who love the beer there. Activities to do in Wendell include a lot of outdoor activities like Robertson Mill Pond Preserve which has a kayak trail and yeah it's Pretty cool. Or you can go on a hike at Turner Speed Nature Preserve in Wendell Falls, where we're at right now is a new master plan community that has really transformed Wendell into what it's growing into today. With open parks and more than 10 miles of trails for mountain bike runs, a center park for performances, a huge saltwater pool with splash zones for kids. This community is the first, but probably not the last master plan community that hopes to give Wendell activities and communities things to do. Also, Wendell Falls is essentially what 12 Oaks is in Holly Springs. It was developed by the same developer and has tons of similarities. And coming just down the street to Wendell Falls, they already have a Publix here. They're gonna be getting a Target soon, uh, a Starbucks. And what would any suburb in the South be without a Chick-fil-A? They have a Chick-fil-A coming. And yeah, it may not seem like a lot, but a 30 minute drive and you have access to basically all of the suburbs of Raleigh and all the activities they include. But really, if you want to move to Wendell, it's not for the overwhelming amount of activities. Wendell has a classic small town feel. Go read the reviews on Google. A lot of them mention the shops are friendly and unique and they have their regulars that the owners know by name. In a big city like Raleigh, that's hard to find, but drive out just a little bit and you can still find that small town charm. This, this is the charm of Lindell. Small town, friendly people, and a close, small knit community.
there are still some affordable properties. I mean, when I say affordable, I, I think below $300,000, right? So there are still some opportunities to get into Window at an affordable price, which is becoming increasingly difficult to do. For example, in Pittsburgh, finding anything under $300,000 now is basically not going to happen. And the same goes for the majority of towns in Boulder County. So if you're looking for an affordable option, check out Wendell, get in before the town really explodes. If you or someone you know are looking to make a move and have questions about the Raleigh area, the great suburbs that we have, let us know, shoot us a text, a call, or a DM, and we'll be happy to reach out.